Hi, I'm Justin from CompCard and today I'm going to give you a couple basics on camber setting on your chassis. Um, there's two types of camber. There's positive or negative camber. Positive camber is taking your stub axle or kingpin bolt, putting, leaning it outward to create more tire patch on the track. Negative camber is doing just the opposite, putting the stub bolt or the kingpin inward, taking tire patch off the track. Um, these two achieve two totally different results and they're both equally important depending on the track conditions, your category, and the chassis you're using. So I'm going to show you how to make the adjustment. You make the adjustment by rotating your eccentric washer, which all chassis have, inward or outward. Some chassis have a different setup, but this is pretty much predominantly the system used on all chassis. So in order for us to do that, we need to loosen the stub bolt. On the comp cart, 5 millimeter Allen and a 13 millimeter wrench. We'll loosen this bolt. No need to take it all the way out. Loosen it enough so you have a little bit of play. Now that's loosened. We need to loosen our little grub screw here that holds the eccentric in place. That's a 3 millimeter Allen on the comp cart. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Pretty simple. Now once that's out, we're free to move our washer. Again, if we move our washer inward, by turning it in simply like that. We've leaned the stub arm outward and we've brought our kingpin or our stub bolt outward as well. We have more tire patch on the track. A couple instances when you may want to do this is in the rain to create a little bit more contact patch to wick away the water. It's also going to give you more front end feel and more front end grip. Same sort of principle in the dry, it's going to give you more front end grip, more front end feel. And we can go as many hole placements as we want. And this is where using your sniper gauge is, is really important because as we used it for the toe front to back, this, the camber, and you'll see it on your sniper, positive is with the laser on, above the center line, negative camber is with it on the bottom. So depending on how much positive or negative you want, is going to depend on how many holes you move in or you move out. A couple things that could go wrong though, it could be too much in the front which could make the back a little bit slidey. It also could create too much heat in your front tire and that's going to create your tire to feather and you're going to have a lot of long-term effects with that. If we do the opposite change, we turn the washer outward like this. Now all of a sudden we have less tire contact patch. Once we have less patch, we're going to reduce our roll resistance. It'll increase straight line speed a little bit. Something pretty popular in the lower horsepower categories. Um, it's also going to, again, take a little bit of the front end feel away, which typically creates a little bit more stability in the rear. Something pretty common on higher horsepower chassis, something like a KZ or a DD2 or you know something of that nature, stock moto. Um, for the comp cart, normally we like to run zero camber on both sides in pretty much all dry conditions. Um, and then in the wet condition, we do run positive camber and that just depends on how wet the track is or isn't. So now we have the eccentric where we want it, the camber exactly how we want it. We need to tighten our stub bolt up, not all the way, just a little bit so it doesn't move. Once we still have the whole placement, we need to put our little grub screw in here which is going to hold our eccentric where it needs to be. We come back, we tighten the eccentric all the way and now we'll do the exact same thing to the other side because normally unless your tuner or your shop or your chassis manufacturer prescribes it you want to have both sides fairly well neutral meaning if you're running two degree positive on this side you want to run two degree positive on that side and those are your basics on camber. Okay now that we finished the camber portion we're going to move on to the basics about adjusting the caster on the front end of your chassis. Um, the caster, if you remember, is moving the kingpin bolt or the stub axle bolt forward and backwards. This achieves two totally different outcomes, both you know, very important depending on the track conditions, the chassis, the category, all the usual suspects. So in order to adjust the caster, it's exactly the same way as we did the camber. So first we need to loosen our kingpin or stub axle bolt. Don't need to take it all the way out. We loosen it. We need to remove our grub screw which holds our eccentric in place. If we remember the eccentric washer is what gives us our adjustment. So once we take that out, now we're free to move this washer 
front to back. Now remember you want to move the kingpin depending on what you want to do backwards. So if you move it backwards that means you increase your caster level. If you rotate your eccentric washer the opposite way, you move your kingpin or stub, stub axle bolt forward, which is taking caster out of the go-kart. Quick question would be, well, when and why do I do both of those adjustments? Well, if you want to add caster to the, your car, which is predominantly pretty much what you're going to do probably most of the time, when you move the kingpin back and you add caster, you actually change the dynamic on the way the chassis works. You create more weight transfer to the front of the go-kart, shorten the wheelbase of the go-kart up a little bit, and that allows you to essentially have more of a positive front end feel, helping release the back of the go-kart. You do this a lot of times in rain conditions, when the track's slippery, and also when the track's grippy. Because when the track gets grippy and a lot of rubber gets laid down on the surface, that grip actually will overpower the rear end of the go-kart. And that's how you'll pick up an understeer or the engine might not be coming off the corner quite as well. So putting caster in the cart, once you've talked to your tuner, your mechanic, your cart shop, that can alleviate all those issues. Now taking caster out, where we move the kingpin or stub axle bolt forward, that's going to basically do the opposite of that. That's typically done with lower horsepower categories. Now remember that gets back to roll speed. Typically with your lower horsepower carts they don't have as much power so you want to reduce rolling resistance. So taking caster out could sometimes help in that regard. Also you may want to take caster out if the front end becomes far too heavy for the driver to turn. If the tire and the go-kart is making a good enough initial grip on turning and you don't feel that you're having any understeer issues, you might want to try taking caster out of the go-kart and that's going to make the car be a little bit more free on turning as long as you don't sacrifice um, any of that understeer. And sometimes that's done with a driver that's a little bit smaller and they might uh, have problem physically turning the steering wheel so you may take a little bit of caster out. So basically moving this eccentric washer back or forward. And once that's complete, tighten up your stub axle bolt. Just like that. Put in our grub screw. And now we've effectively adjusted the caster in our go-kart.